Hi guys, welcome back. Um, if it's your first time to the channel, please um, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, it notifies you as upcoming videos and upcoming builds coming up. There's loads and loads I'm doing in the future. But if you want to see stuff like Predator Enclosure, which is uh, everybody's seen by now. But um, all that, or full tutorials, um, all the way back. So um, this is the final part of the it enclosure. Um, I've done it in two parts, which is just like the film. So all good. Um, I've had quite fun. I thought I'd um, steer away from my comfort zone and I use mortar on this one, which I kind of like actually. It's a good uh, material to use. Um, very, pretty cheap as well. And the way I've sealed it and everything, I think the final effect is quite good. So without further ado, let's get down into finishing off the hit enclosure. Right, so this is my first time using mortar as a substitute. Usually it's a grout build, but I'm quite liking the way um, it modelled. It was a bit of a nightmare to get it to stick to the polystyrene, unlike grout. That's a lot easier to stick down to, but I thought we'd try a different um method on this one so it's a bit different for the channel so what we're going to do now is just to add some color to it so what we've got here just mix up some gray and what you need to do is basically a dry brush which is when you just pick up a little bit of paint and then just wipe it off so the brush is almost dry and then what we're going to do we're just going to flick it and start building up the colour slowly but we don't want to lather it on because this is a concrete anyway we don't want it so it, you know it's quite obvious that you've just painted onto concrete we want to make it as natural as possible so we're only going to pick out sort of the highlights now what's going to happen is round obviously round the it word and up down into the crevices and up the top here as well. We're gonna be um, adding cocoa fiber um, and plants up the top that sort of come down there. So we'll have a grain down here and down here. I was gonna make it bioactive, but because this is for uh, adult female green bottle blue, we're gonna keep it arid so it'll be fake plants on this one unfortunately but let's get painting speed mode As you can see, I've just picked out certain bits. Because a lot of this will be covered by cocoa fibre, so it's just like the jetty out rock bits. That we're covering. Next thing to do, we're going to seal it. But what we've got here, this is PVA. Buxton water. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to coat it all with this. Now this PA, PBA is, um, it doesn't react to water so it should give it a nice seal and make it pretty much waterproof without any hassle. Um, so what we end up with, I've done a test piece earlier today, so this is just a rough piece, but you can see you get sort of a matte effect, and plus all the concrete's sealed on there, 
rock solid. It's quite some nifty little effect. Right, so with the PBA, we're just gonna lightly coat it all over. Really light coat. We don't wanna go too thick. And if we have to go over again, then we will. Or if we've missed anywhere. But um, don't be worried when you do this because you'll think, oh my God, it looks rubbish now. Because as you can see, it's gonna really light gray color. But it doesn't, you know, blends down. Now I'm doing it this way because this is a, a different, I usually use pond sealer. But this is a different way. We're gonna try and do something and see what the effect is gonna be. And pond sealer is really good. Um, also really good if it's high humidity. Now my mate also admin of um, Exotic Pets Enclosure Design. I asked him the other day, I goes, is there anything else we can use to seal it? And he goes, out oh, of PBA, so. Um, I always trust his advice, he's an awesome builder. Um, he's been doing it a lot longer than I have. And so after a test piece, and I would uh, recommend doing the test piece, especially if you're adding paint and stuff, sort of gives you an idea of um, how dark to go with your paint and everything and what effects and if you've gone too dark or certain areas on your test piece then you, then you can um, do it because unlike using this um, well using grout where if you don't like it you can just respray it and start again this is a uh, pretty much permanent so you got to, like create a test piece first which if you all you got to do is just bung a bit of cement on a, even a bit of cardboard or something, let it dry out and and then just have a play with different colour effects. You know, you can go ready or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's best to have a, like a plan. As this is a lot more permanent once you get the colour on, because it'll just soak in it to the concrete. I mean, I suppose you could just spray it all and then do it as I usually do that way, but then I'm sort of taking away the, the natural effects of the concrete, which I wanted in this one. I wanted it more natural and not just painted. And plus, once we get the cocoa fiber in there and all the grooves and stuff, I think it'll look quite effective, sort of jetting out rocks and everything. Right. Right, how good damn awful does that look? But trust me, once it's all dried off, obviously it becomes clear again. And then we're left with just sealed rock. As you can see, it's starting to dry around there already. But that was a mission getting that first coat on. And then what we're gonna do is uh, come back tomorrow and have a look at what we got. So, right, so it's all been sealed and we've added some graffiti paint. Next bit is to add all the cocoa fibre, get the tank clean up and the flake big plants and Pennywise, and then we're done.
So we were good guys. Only completed. Quite pleased with this one actually. As I said, using the mortar this time, I think it's worked. But I think the sewer entrance is quite um, dark in there and looks like it goes down for miles. So it's the effect I wanted. But yeah, once we've got all the lights on the shelf on, I think it'll look awesome. So, so all that's left to do is add the occupant, and this is a eight-inch female Lassiodora Paravana. It's a little bit bigger than her last enclosure, so she's a big girl. Everything's complete. I think with the lights on it makes loads better effect. Plus with these sliding doors. She won't be lifting the glass up again. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, the next build, big build, is um, a Terminator build, which um, I'm quite excited about. And um, I'm thinking that um, I'm going to put a green bulb blue in that one. Um, originally, the enclosure was going to be for a green bottle blue, but um, I decided that um, my old um, Lassie Adora Paravana enclosure um, I think she just needed an upgrade. So, um, that's a pretty good upgrade. And she's got a little bit more room in that. And I'm thinking of ripping out her old enclosure and using that for the Terminator build. And then putting my adult female green bottle blue in that one. Um, which would be quite cool. I'm thinking sort of apocalyptic um, design. I've got some... Um, uh, a Terminator head and uh, I've got a few ideas on that one but that's the, the next big build um, that I will be doing um, apart from that thank you very much for watching please thumbs it up comment down below subscribe hit that notification bell do -do 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 -do. and apart from that guys I shall see you later